Hi, Fools. I'm Dan Kaplinger, and I'm here today with the Ask a Fool series, where our readers ask us some basic investing questions for us to give answers to. And today, we've got a question from a reader. Jeff Weinberg asks, when does it make sense not to reinvest dividends? That's a great question because so many people believe that the key to the building wealth over time is by reinvesting dividends. And we've seen that t time after time with some of the best performing stocks of all time. Companies with really strong long-term business models. Companies like Altria that has been a tobacco giant for decades and ridden the ride of cash flow that that business brings in. Companies like AT&T that have millions of customers that depend on the services that they provide and that also provide rich cash flow to investors have really rewarded those who stuck with them and reinvested the money they received in dividends to buy additional shares of stock. It's really magnified their total returns. And so it looks very attractive from that basis. Now the problem comes in when a business doesn't do as well as you think that it should. For instance, a lot of people fell prey in the financial crisis to bank stocks that before the crisis had actually been really good dividend payers. Companies like Bank of America and Citigroup were considered to be incredibly safe investments before the financial crisis with high dividend yields that were very attractive even to conservative investors. And a lot of those folks got burned when those stocks plummeted and they still really haven't rebounded nearly as much as they lost. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, with th let me close with three notions of when it makes sense not to take dividends. The first is if your broker charges you a special commission or fee to reinvest the money that you got in dividends. Most of the time, the dividend payment is so small, paying a commission to reinvest them really doesn't make sense. Another situation to think twice about is when a company is making a special dividend or thinking about a special dividend. For instance, some investors have proposed that the way that Dell should move forward is to pay a big special dividend, leaving investors with a small stub stock that is basically an upside play on the company's survival. Now, if you reinvest a Dell special dividend, if it comes about, you're really magnifying your risk of the rebound in the stock. And that's something that you should think twice about. Now, the last but best reason not to take, reinvest a dividend is when you need the income. After all, remember, the whole point of investing in a dividend stock, first and foremost, is that income. And if you need to use it, don't hesitate. Take it and don't fear that you haven't reinvested it. Hey, thanks again for the question. Appreciate that very much. Stay tuned to Fool.com for more information about investing. Thanks for watching and Fool on.